The world watches with bated breath as the Israel-Gaza conflict escalates to new heights of devastation. The relentless exchange of rocket fire and airstrikes has plunged the region into a state of chaos and despair. Civilians are caught in the crossfire, their lives shattered by the unrelenting violence. The international community grapples with how to quell the flames of this decades-long conflict. Hope for a peaceful resolution seems distant as both sides remain entrenched in their positions. The current conflict, ignited by a series of events, has spiralled into a full-blown crisis. The underlying tensions between Israel and Hamas, the militant group controlling Gaza, remain unresolved. The cycle of violence continues, leaving a trail of destruction and heartbreak in its wake. International pressure mounts for a ceasefire, but a lasting solution remains elusive. The road to peace is fraught with obstacles, and the human cost of this conflict continues to rise. In a bid to halt the bloodshed, Egypt has stepped forward with a proposal for a 48-hour truce. This temporary ceasefire aims to provide a much-needed respite from the violence and create a window for dialogue. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, a key mediator in the region, announced the proposal, urging both sides to seize this opportunity to de-escalate the situation. The proposed truce hinges on a crucial element, the exchange of prisoners. Egypt has suggested a swap that would see four Israeli captives released in exchange for the release of Palestinian prisoners held by Hamas. This gesture of goodwill, if accepted by both parties, could serve as a building block for trust and further negotiations. The international community has welcomed Egypt's initiative, recognizing the urgent need to silence the guns and create space for diplomacy. However, the proposal hangs in the balance as both Israel and Hamas weigh their options. The coming hours will be critical in determining whether this fragile opportunity for peace will be seized or squandered. The world waits anxiously for a sign of hope. Israel has signaled its willingness to consider Egypt's proposal for a 48-hour truce. This openness to a temporary ceasefire suggests a desire to de-escalate the situation and explore diplomatic avenues. However, Israel remains steadfast in its pursuit of a long-term ceasefire agreement that addresses its security concerns. While a short-term pause in hostilities could provide a much-needed respite for civilians on both sides, Israel maintains that it is not a substitute for a lasting solution. Any ceasefire agreement must address the root causes of the conflict, including Hamas's disarmament and the prevention of future rocket attacks. Israel's position reflects the complex security challenges it faces. The government argues that it has a duty to protect its citizens from the constant threat of rocket fire from Gaza. While open to dialogue, Israel remains resolute in its determination to secure its borders and ensure the safety of its people. The path to a lasting peace, from Israel's perspective, requires a comprehensive agreement that guarantees security for all. As the Israel-Gaza conflict escalates, the international community has sprung into action, intensifying its efforts to broker a ceasefire. Diplomatic channels are abuzz with activity as world leaders engage in frantic shuttle diplomacy, urging both sides to lay down their arms and embrace dialogue. The United States, a key player in the region, has deployed its diplomatic corps to the Middle East, working tirelessly to bridge the divide between Israel and Hamas. Egypt, with its long-standing role as a mediator in the conflict, continues to play a pivotal role, facilitating communication and pushing for a peaceful resolution. The United Nations has also stepped up its engagement, with the Security Council holding multiple emergency meetings to address the crisis. The UN Secretary General has called for an immediate ceasefire, emphasizing the dire humanitarian situation in Gaza and urging all parties to protect civilian lives. The international community's collective efforts 
underscore the global concern over the escalating violence and the urgent need for a peaceful resolution. Hamas, the militant group controlling Gaza, has outlined its conditions for a lasting ceasefire with Israel. Their demands call for fundamental changes to the status quo in Gaza. Central to their demands is lifting the Israeli blockade, which has crippled Gaza for over a decade. The blockade imposed by Israel and Egypt has severely restricted the flow of goods and people. Hamas argues the blockade has created a humanitarian catastrophe, stifling economic activity and trapping Gazans in poverty. They also demand the release of Palestinian prisoners held in Israeli jails. A lasting solution requires addressing these issues for a more just reality in Gaza. The relentless conflict has plunged Gaza into a humanitarian catastrophe. The densely populated enclave, already grappling with poverty, is now reeling under destruction and displacement. Civilians bear the brunt of the violence, their lives upended by airstrikes and collapsing services. Hospitals, overwhelmed with casualties, face critical shortages of medical supplies. Schools have become makeshift shelters for thousands of displaced families. The lack of clean water and sanitation raises concerns about disease outbreaks. The humanitarian situation demands immediate international attention and action. The escalating violence in Israel and Gaza has drawn sharp condemnation from the international community. World leaders, human rights organizations, and people of conscience across the globe have united in their outrage over the loss of innocent lives and the devastating impact of the conflict on civilians. Governments from all corners of the world have issued statements expressing grave concern over the escalating violence and urging both sides to exercise restraint. The indiscriminate firing of rockets into Israel and the disproportionate use of force in Gaza have been met with widespread criticism, with many calling for an immediate ceasefire and a return to dialogue. The United Nations has called for an independent investigation into potential war crimes committed by both sides, emphasizing the need for accountability and justice. Human rights organizations have documented numerous violations of international law, including the targeting of civilians and civilian infrastructure. The chorus of condemnation reflects the global consensus that the violence must stop and that all parties must be held accountable for their actions. While the physical devastation is most visible in Gaza, the conflict has also cast a long shadow over Israeli society. The constant threat of rocket fire from Gaza has disrupted daily life, instilling fear and uncertainty in the hearts of many Israelis. The psychological toll of living under such conditions, particularly for children, is immeasurable. The wail of air raid sirens has become a grim soundtrack to everyday life, sending families scrambling for bomb shelters at all hours. Schools have been forced to close, disrupting education and adding to the sense of disruption and anxiety. Businesses have shuttered, impacting livelihoods and adding to the economic toll of the conflict. The conflict has also exacerbated existing social and political divisions within Israel. The debate over the government's handling of the situation and the path to peace has intensified exposing deep-seated rifts within society. The psychological scars of the conflict run deep and the 